The NIMRC is the stands for the Nottingham Innovative Manufacturing Research Centre. Manufacturing is, is, is about making things. Innovative manufacturing means making them in new ways and hopefully better. Better, faster, cheaper. I can bend that with just two fingers. This one, I can barely bend it with two hands. It's a success and it's going to be exploited by an advanced technology company. I was absolutely overjoyed at the time, absolutely overjoyed, absolutely marvellous. You know, we, when you're working on these machines, you know you're working with the best machines out there and you know you're the first to actually do these kind of things. So it's, it's, it's very exciting for us, definitely. A lot of manufacturing is moving from Europe, uh, UK and Europe to the Far East because of the low cost uh, uh, of labour. We need to keep the some of the manufacturing in the UK uh, and in Europe and we need new ways of doing that. And some of the tools that we have here can, is actually half the diameter of a human hair. So as you can see an example that we've got is we can actually drill a hole through a human hair. And we use these fibres to reinforce the polymer in order to increase its mechanical properties. Well, the fibres that we use to reinforce it are what we produce here at our own labs at Nottingham and they are phosphate based glass fibres. Something about the grace of them when they move and particularly when you get them moving together in a production environment, I, I don't know, it's just, I can sit and watch it for hours but I'm just a bit sad like that I suppose. I was uh, always fascinated by, by making things work and fixing things. Getting a grant that uh, you've been waiting for for a long time, solving a particular problem that you've been thinking about for some time and finding an elegant solution to it. Things like that would, would, would uh, what brings me to work in the morning. This is Henry and we, we, borrowed, we borrowed Henry's skull because we wanted to demonstrate the pliability and formability of the material. So what we're going to do is go over to another laboratory now where we do some impact testing uh, specifically for pedestrian uh, safety research. And we will press the trigger to fire. It seems successful. I would say my work is to take the research of academics and bring it into a project called Awesome Athletes down into primary schools. There's something quite challenging about that. Where do you think he's found? Might be able to help. Yes. <laughs> I, I got a grant for a hot air balloon, so you'll see the University of Nottingham balloon flying. It's just a, a blue balloon with Nottingham University written all over it, so you'll know which one it is, so, and you'll know it be me. Janet, uh, folks, who is the world record-breaking balloonist here, who will be taking this balloon all around the world, is that right? That's right. I'm going to Malaysia and to China with it, as well as flying in Nottingham, which I'm looking forward to. Okay, now, look at this. A trick of the trade here. Instead of the tethers, this is what you have to put in a basket to keep it on the ground, look. <laughs> Two willing volunteers. <laughs> I absolutely love it. Talking about your own subject, the thing that you're passionate about, to explaining to other people what the work is, I, I love it. I'm in my element. Better, faster, cheaper is the motto since the Industrial Revolution and has not really changed very much. Yeah.